Hey YouTubers, we went up to the Pictured Rocks area of Munising and had a pasty. So I'm going to do a review of the pasties now, and then I'll get to the videos of some of the other stuff. I hope you enjoy Miner's pasties. Alright YouTubers, I'm going to heat these up. This is the Uper one, so it's like a traditional. This is the vegan pasty. And as you can see, they're not huge. They're not very big compared to some of the other ones. They've smelled good. So we're going to see how they taste. They were actually pretty small. YouTubers, here we go with the two pasties we got today in Munising. I wanted to say, um, I've been to Muldoon's in, in Munising, and I didn't really like them. So I think these are going to be hopefully a little bit better. Again, they're not very big. Put them in the oven for 15 minutes. You can see the difference on the crust. This is the traditional, they call it the Uper, normal, regular pasty. And this is vegan, um, no animal products whatsoever. And interesting side note, when I was in Marquette recently, just a few days ago, I went and got a Gene K's Kudigi, and a woman in front of me asked for gravy with her pasty, or she was asking for a pasty, and she saw gravy on the menu, and he says, well, some people put that on a pasty, but we don't really recommend it. She ordered it anyways, because, you know, a lot of people get upset, but... Gravy on pasties is kind of a tourist thing. I will admit I've had it and it's not bad. But let me cut these open and we'll take a look at them. There's the inside of the traditional Uper one. You can see carrots. You can see onions. It's kind of, um, everything's cut kind of thin. Sorry, it's having a hard time focus. Everything's cut kind of thin, like in strips. It's a little bit different. It smells good. We'll jump over here, we'll spin the plate around, and we'll look at the... Okay, and there's the vegan one. Again, the camera's struggling a little bit. Hold on. Okay, I, I turned the light on the camera to do it a little bit better. There's the vegan one. And, uh, it looks and smells okay. I'll go back and look at the traditional one. And as you can see, everything's cut thin into strips. It's a little bit different than I've seen before. We'll give them a taste. Hey there, YouTubers. You know, I had to break off in the middle here. You know how everybody now is doing uh, sponsorships and doing ads in their videos to try to make a little extra cash? I've resisted that for the longest time, but I kind of thought it might be time for me to jump into that game. So hold on for a second. We got a little bit to share with you. Today we have Kiki. Kiki is a 14-year-old Persian, and she's not as thrilled as I thought she was gonna be about this. She's not cooperating. And Kiki's a lot like Janice in accounting. She don't give a F where you spend your money. She... <laughs> she prepared a statement that I was meant to read. And I'll prop it up there. And it says, uh, when he, meaning me, does his reviews, he buys his stuff with his own money. And he's going to tell you whether he likes it or not. And it's up for you to decide. He also believes that when people do these sponsored things and they're telling you a product is the greatest thing in the world, they either got it for free or they're getting some kind of payment and you can't really trust that, can you? She said, I'm a cat and even I know that. If they come off like the ShamWow guy, it might be a sham. She had one other statement. She says, I'm not grumpy, that's just my face. Oh, no, she's upset. I didn't say that properly. She wanted me to say it. I'm not grumpy, it's just my face. So there we go, YouTubers, and now we'll take you back to your regularly scheduled YouTube video. She also wants you to give me a break on the lighting. We're in a van. Sometimes it's difficult. Enjoy the rest of the video. Almost looks like noodles in there, the way everything's cut. Kind of odd. Okay, I'm going to taste. So here's the vegan one. I'm going to taste that. I, a little on the bland side, but it's okay. It's not bad. And now, like I said, we're going to get into the traditional Uper weirdly sliced one. <laughs> Hold on. So there it is. A fork full of it. I'm trying it plain. I didn't get ketchup. They had some hot sauce, but I'll probably use sriracha. I would still give my overall lean and favorite to... Shocker, Gene K's in Marquette, Michigan. Here's a flyover if we can keep a focus. Of the beef one and the vegan one. 
just the way everything was cut up was so weird. So I'm going to add something here. Um, the beef one, after tasting it, we, we think that the meat is very, very lean. So there's sometimes you need a little fat. And it's peppery. It's good. Again, it's not Gene K's, and I, and I didn't say this. Both of these pasties cost $6.75, which is a little bit more than other places. And they're smaller, but I really didn't like theirs very much. But six seventy five dollars for a small pasty. There's a good chance, uh, since I'm back, I might go to Brown's again. I really liked theirs outside of Gwen in Little Lake, Michigan. They make a very good one. And of course, Gene K's. So I do hope you enjoyed and there's your pasty fix for the day. Okay, I got more. I just can't stop myself sometimes. Pasties from Miners and Munising. They're okay. Um, again, still, I didn't like the ones at Meldoon's, and maybe I'm different than a lot of people because I know that place is popular. If I had to have a pasty in Munising, this is probably where I would go. But overall, I'd say these are just okay. Nothing special. I've had several that I would think are better than these. But I'm going to eat them, and I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm going to enjoy them. But there are other pasties that you can find that you may enjoy better. Have a great and wonderful day. Okay, I want to make one final addition. This is a couple minutes later. It's been a couple, three years. But when you go to Munising, when you go into Pictured Rocks, when you're along H58... There is a store called The Bear Trap. It's a restaurant, not a store. Very good pasties. So, again, if you get to Munising area and you're craving a pasty, that's the one I would truly suggest. The Bear Trap. And, again, I know it's, it's maybe it's just a, a tiny little sticking point. I don't know if it's me or what, but... Well, it's not just me. Someone else agrees with me. Um, the way everything's sliced, you know, thin like that, they're almost like you're eating noodles, and it's just it's just not a pasty texture. It's kind of odd, and it does it's not bad. It just puts you off a little bit because it's not what you're expecting. I truly hate to do this because it's someone's business, but I wouldn't recommend. But then again, try for yourself because we all got different taste buds.